Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of the Macali FlexFit case for the fourth generation iPod Touch. Now this is a flexible case and it's got a nice glossy finish to the back. I'm going to crack this packaging open and show you the case. Now Macali have added some extra value with this as well, so I'm really keen to show you this. Let's pop the case out like so, pop the packaging to one side, get rid of the dummy iPod in here. Now if I open this up, it shows you some of the other bits and pieces and other products that Macali manufacture. It's also got this thing here, which I'm going to show you in a minute, and also some information about how to use it. So let's pop that to one side and have a closer look at the case. So it's quite flexible material, this one. And um, let's pop my fourth gen iPod Touch in, just offer it up to the top like so to ease it into the case and then it's just a matter of stretching it around the iPod to fit it into place like so there we go so that's the iPod in now that the new fourth gen iPod touch as you probably know is very low profile so it's quite tricky to fit into some of these cases um, one of the things that people do ask me which I'm going to cover off first is it does a case affect the uh, film type protectors you put on the front of your iPod but if I give you a close up look around the edges actually it's not fitted properly let's just ease that around the edge a bit more there we go does it actually lift up the uh, screen protector well as you can see on this one if you look around all the edges no problem with the screen protector at all so a nice fit to the iPod let's walk you around the cutouts there's a nice cutout here for the volume rocker nice large cutout here for the uh, speaker, the earphone jack and the dock connector so you're going to have no problem docking this whilst it's in the case around this side is obviously completely blank we've got a rubberized section for the power on off button and if I just push that on and off no extra effort required to use that on off button around the back we've got a cutout for the camera and a little bit different because normally you get a large cutout to incorporate the microphone but Macalia have gone with a separate tiny little pinhole cutout for the microphone so that's really nice the back a nice gloss feel to it and now I'm going to just tell, tell you what this is this is um, a little polishing pad and they call this the uh, sticky swipe now the idea of this, I'll just pop it out of the packaging is that on this side here you've got like a polishing cloth so you can use this to polish your iPod screen so I can get rid of those marks that were on my iPod at the beginning of this review so it does a good job of polishing the screen look at that no more fingerprint marks on my iPod and then when you finish with it the idea is that you um, actually stick it to the back of your iPod so it's got a little I always fiddle with these but it's got a little protective backing Let's take that off and you stick it when it's not in use on the iPod like so or perhaps I want to put it the right way around so I've got the M facing upwards so you stick it nicely on the back of your iPod carry your iPod around like so and when you want to give the screen a quick polish you just peel this off and polish away like so and then stick it back on the back of your iPod out of the way now it's not too obtrusive on the case I don't think it looks particularly nice stuck on the back but it doesn't really get in the way I'm not a big fan of it but it, it doesn't sort of affect the use of the case I suppose and the fact that you can remove it and polish your screen every time you get a little fingerprint on it is really quite good it's not too tacky it's just got a little bit of tack to it and it doesn't leave any stickiness on the back of the case when it's um, removed so there's no sticky there at all and it just clings to it not sure how long this stickiness is going to last because I haven't been using it that long but it certainly feels alright um, and I think that the um, sticky swipe as they've called it is quite a nice addition to the case offers a decent amount of protection it's got a little tiny bit of a raised lip on there so you can place it on the table and your screen won't physically touch the surface you're putting it on just a sort of raised profile probably only just about a millimetre so not a great deal sort of um, sticking out the front of the screen 
nice low profile, lightweight case, and as I say, offers up a decent amount of protection. You've only got a bit of exposure here at the bottom. If it landed on this area here, you'd probably get a bit of damage, but other than that, very nice case. This is the Macaulay Flex Fit case for the fourth gen iPod Touch. There's no UK pricing at the moment, but I would expect it to cost round about £19. If you're in the US, it's going to cost you $29. Well, thanks very much for listening. This has been my review of the Macaulay Flex Fit case for the fourth gen iPod Touch. Until next time, please do keep watching the Geek and Noise channel, and of course, have a great day. This video review is sponsored by Crucial, the memory experts. They provide reliable PC, notebook and Mac memory to boost your system performance and improve your general workflow.